Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. This episode is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description, deposit $100, in, and now you can receive two free stocks valued up to $1,600 while this promotion is going on. So don't miss out on free money. In this video, I'm going to take $500 and I'm going to invest it into my Robinhood portfolio. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm buying and why I'm buying it. I'm going to give you guys the inside process on how I think when I'm buying these stocks, when I'm purchasing these stocks. So enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into the video. Welcome back YouTube. Here we are on my Robinhood account. So far, my account is at $28,279.18. I've been investing for a couple of years now. So I've been growing my account little by little over time. Usually I invest $200 every single week into the stock market. This month I got paid a little extra from my job. So I decided to invest $500 this week and I wanted to show you guys exactly what I'm going to buy. So let's take a look at the performance over the last week. It's been a rough month. Um, I'm down $264.75. That's okay. Over the last month, I'm down $1,938.56, down 6.42%. So, so right now, while the stock market is down, I'm throwing in $500 buying the dip. So while most companies are down right now, I'm gonna buy them at a cheap price and then eventually they should recover in the near future. Over the last three months, I'm up 14.35%, up $3,548.87. That's pretty good. So if you guys wanna see my performance on the year and all time, make sure that you click the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel because I'm gonna show that in a future video. So if you guys wanna check that out, it's pretty cool. Um, the stats that Robinhood has on my year and all time. If you guys don't want to miss that, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. And while you're down there hitting the subscribe button, make sure you hit the thumbs up button because it really helps me out more than you could even imagine. All right, so here we are. I have $633 of buying power in my account right now, but I'm not only, I'm not going to spend all $600 of it. I'm just going to spend $500 to show you guys. And the first stock that we're going to buy is AMD. All right, right now, AMD is valued at $77.85. That is at a pretty decent value for me considering AMD had a all-time high of $92.18. So well, I see that it's at a good price at $77 compared to its all-time high of $92. And AMD is one of my favorite companies to invest into, one of my favorite technology companies. So right now I own 50 shares with the average cost of $36.20. And I'm going to purchase one more share of AMD to bring that to 51. The reason I'm going to continue to invest into AMD I eventually want to own 100 shares of AMD so I can start the wheel strategy of selling put options and buying put options on AMD. So let's go ahead and buy one right now. I'm going to hit buy. The market is closed right now, by the way. So, so when the market opened up, it'll put in a market buy at the market price. So that is one and I'm buying it for $77.85. So let's just say $78. Hit review swipe up and there it goes that's one share of amd all right the next one i'm gonna buy is netflix i am a firm believer of investing into companies that you actually use and companies that you are a supporter of their products and you think that they have a lot of growth in the future um, netflix i probably between netflix and youtube it's 50 50. i'm either watching youtube or i'm watching netflix there's i don't even have cable i don't have TV subscription services or any kind of uh, satellite dishes or anything like that. I'm YouTube, Netflix, and occasionally I watch some Hulu. So here we are with Netflix. I'm going to invest into Netflix. Not only am I investing into Netflix because I use their products, but right now I see them at a good price. Um, just a month ago, Netflix was up to $556.55. Now it's at $481. That could be a perfect swing trade, a perfect entry point. Right now I own 2.2 shares worth of Netflix. So I'm gonna buy $50 worth of Netflix. Let me show you guys how to do that. I'm gonna hit trade, buy. And then at the top right, I'm gonna click the shares button. I'm gonna hit buy in dollars. I'm gonna buy $50 worth of Netflix. Hit review, swipe up, and there we go. I now have bought $50 worth of Netflix. So, so far I spent $128. 
Um, for Tesla, I purchased Tesla earlier this week. I purchased a share of Tesla earlier this week, so I'm not gonna buy Tesla, even though I am a believer in their company. Also, Apple, I purchased a share of Apple earlier this week, so I'm not gonna buy Apple in this video, but I do believe in those two companies as technology companies. So let me just skip over those two in this video and buy some other stocks and give you guys the inside reason on why I'm buying those stocks. All right, here we go on the next one I'm gonna buy. I'm going to buy at and T, Tickle Sumbu T. Um, over the last month, they are also down 6.35%. So I am buying them at a dip. Right now on 15 shares, I would love to eventually get to 100 shares of uh, AT&T so that I can start doing the wheel strategy on this one as well. So let me go ahead and purchase a share of AT&T. I'm gonna purchase a full share. I'm gonna change that back to buy in shares, hit one, and it's gonna be $28.04. I'm just gonna say it's $28. Swipe up and buy. The reason that I'm buying AT&T is because they're also undervalued right now on the month. But if we look at their dividend, they have a 7.38 dividend yield. So I'm continuously buying into AT&T so I can receive those sweet dividends so that I can retire early. Right, so far I spent $156. The next one I'm gonna buy is AGNC. It is a real estate REIT with a high dividend yield of 12.86%. I currently have 95 shares at $14.18. So right now I'll be buying it at a lower price. So it should lower my average cost by a penny or two. So let me go ahead and buy a couple of shares of AGNC. So I have 95 shares. I'm gonna go ahead and purchase five shares to finally get me to that 100 share mark of AGNC. So let's see how much that'll cost. I'm gonna buy five shares. It's gonna cost me $70. I'm gonna hit review, swipe up, there it goes. Now, when the market opened, I'll finally have 100 shares of AGNC. So that's, that's sweet. So, so far I spent $226. The next one I'm gonna buy is Tickle Symbol TNA. It is a triple leverage small cap ETF, which makes it perfect for me to do the ruler strategy on. I'm gonna eventually get 100 shares of this as well. Right now I'm at 50. Uh, if we do trade options right here, and let's go out a month. If I do a sell call every single week on TNA, at let's say 70% chance of winning, I can make a hundred dollar profit every single week once I get a hundred shares and I'm able to do this call option. So that's why I'm so eager to get TNA to 100 shares. So I'm gonna buy a couple shares of TNA right now. I'm gonna buy two, hit review for $57 and swipe up. So that's $283 I spent so far. Let's move on to the next stock. The next one is Walmart. Walmart is at $136.75. Last month, they was up to $147. I think Walmart has already started or starting to roll out in a couple of regions where they deliver the food, your groceries straight to your door, just like Amazon. I can see them being a small competitor to Amazon when it comes to same day delivery, especially for uh, groceries. So I own 7.3 shares of Walmart. Let's pick up around $50 worth of Walmart. So hit trade, buy, buy in dollars and hit $50. Swipe up, so I spent $333 so far. Let's move on to the next stock. All right, here we are on the next one, Waste Management. Uh, this is Warren Buffett's, one of Warren Buffett's favorite stock. I mean, if you look over the last five years, Waste Management, it only goes up. It, it's boring, it's a very boring stock. It's not gonna have a lot of growth, super fast growth, and it's not gonna have any super deep dips at all is very safe it's, it has a steady incline that's why a lot of people like waste management they're all there's always going to be trash to take out and i have a dividend yield of 1.86 percent right now on two shares of wall uh, right now on two shares of waste management so let's pick up 50 dollars worth of waste management hit buy 50 dollars review and swipe up so I spent $383 so far. So with the rest of my money, let's go have a little fun. We ain't gotta invest into stable companies anymore. Let's take the rest of my money, the rest 10% of this, and let's go have some fun with it. So we got about $117 to have fun with right now. So let's go buy some new emerging stocks, some risky stocks, some, some gambles. Let's go ahead and dive into which stocks I'm buying right now. So I have about $40 that I can invest into three companies. The first one is LCA. It is a holding company for Golden Nugget. 
uh, by Tillman Fajita, whatever his name is. So he has one of the largest casino companies in the nation down here in the South, and he also went to U of H, so go Cougs. Uh, Tillman Fajita, once this turns over to Golden Nugget, when the ticker symbol change, I can see the price going up in value over time. So I'm trying to get in a couple shares early before he takes off in a big boom in the future with his new online gambling company, Golden Nugget. So we're gonna hit trade buy and we're gonna buy $40 worth of A, which is soon gonna change into Golden Nugget. The next one is Workhorse. Uh, this company has a deal, well they have, they have plans of a deal in place. They make electric vehicles, but not the ones that you just drive on the streets. They're making commercial electric vehicles for like mail carriers. And so if they close this deal with the United States Post Office, they're gonna have a major boom in the production of their vehicles and their stock is gonna shoot way up. In fact, over the last month, their stock shot up 48% just over the rumors that they're gonna close the deal with the United States Post Office. So if this deal actually closed, I can see workhorse going from $24 to at least $40 in the next couple of months. But everyone is waiting for the news to hit. So while we're waiting, I'm going to buy $40 worth of workhorse. It is a gamble because if the deal does not close, that means the stock price of this company will go down. But you know, we're having fun. And the last one is Gap tickle symbol GPS they have a sweet dividend yield of 5.95% I own seven shares the reason this one is risky is because gap has not been performing pretty good over the last five years in fact they're down 50% but when they had news that Kanye West is going to be doing a clothing label with them um, pretty much anything Kanye West makes sells out even his shoes, his clothes, no matter what he makes and sells out, it's just so risky because you never know where Kanye West's mindset is. So he could do, he could say, tweet anything at any given moment that would pretty much tank a GPS gap stock in the next couple of hours. So it is risky dealing with Kanye West, but if he somehow pulls this off, I could see the stock going from 16 to $20 when he do eventually release some of his clothing lines with gap. So let's buy $40 worth of GPS. And there we go, guys. That's it. I probably cheated a little bit and bought $503 worth of stocks. But I was giving you guys my inside mind thought process on how do I pick stocks. Those are the stocks I'm buying this week. You guys just saw it. I'm either buying full shares or I'm buying fractions of shares using the Robinhood app. That link is also in the description. If you want to sign up, you'll get a free stock of Robinhood just for signing up and depositing $100. But other than that, guys, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure that you hit the thumbs up on this video. It really helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. And also subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show. And I'm out. Peace.